Hello friends, this video on getting to know plants part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now roots are also modified to provide mechanical support to the plants. Now sometimes when the trees become very very huge, right? normally the, the basic anchorage is given to the trees by the roots. But sometimes the trees become so huge that having just one root doesn't matter how much ever thick it is, is not enough because the tree kind of spreads in both the directions. So that is when some additional support is needed. So one such modification of root is called the prop roots. So what are prop roots? So they originate from aerial branches. So let's look at this picture. So banyan tree. Have you ever seen a banyan tree? So this is how it looks. So you, if you look at the top of the tree, it's like huge. It spreads on both the sides and it occupies a large area. So now this, this was the main root of the plant. But now after some time, as the uh, tree keeps growing, so what happens is from the aerial branches, that means from these branches. So here you will have several branches of this tree. So from one of these branches, roots will originate and these roots will grow in the downward direction. So these roots will start originating from these aerial branches. They will grow downward and they will come downward, go below the soil and then it will become the roots. So that's how you will have so many additional roots. Now, the presence of these additional roots definitely provides additional support to the plant. And these prop, these roots are called prop roots. So they grow downwards into pillar like woody roots. Now sometimes the uh, prop roots also become so thick that it becomes difficult to distinguish that which is the main root and which are the prop roots. So the, the most common example of prop root is the banyan tree. So you can, uh, if you have never seen a banyan tree, you can visit a botanical garden and that would be a great place where you can see a banyan tree. So sometimes uh, very old banyan trees can be as old as maybe 200, 300 or 500 years old. And the, and the older a tree is, the more number of prop roots would be there, the more thicker prop roots would be there. So they are prop roots. So this is one modification of root where we see that it is providing additional support to the plant. The next modification are stilt roots. So what are these stilt roots? So let's have a quick look. So they originate from the stem base. So let's have a look and then what happens? For example, in case of uh, sugarcane or maize. So these are not very huge trees. They are like small plants. So in these plants also when you have huge number of plants you need some stability for the plants. So what happens is certain roots they originate from the stem base and they grow obliquely penetrate into the soil. So gradually it is not necessary that they go very deep into the soil but they start spreading obliquely like this. So laterally they start spreading and that's how they give support to the plant. So these are called stilt roots. So these are also supporting roots. So you see in all of these you have a main root but still some additional roots develop in these plants so that they can provide additional mechanical support to the plant. Now sometimes roots also perform some very special functions. For example photosynthesis. Now we have been learning that photosynthesis is the process by which plants prepare their food in presence of sunlight and it is performed by the leaves. But sometimes in some plants the roots are modified in such a way that they can perform photosynthesis. So one such example of a photosynthetic root is trapa. So trapa which is uh, also called panifal or singhara in India. We call it panifal or singhara. So in these plants the roots develop chlorophyll and chlorophyll is something which is a must for photosynthesis to happen. Now why leaves perform photosynthesis? That's because leaves have the green pigment chlorophyll. So that's why they are able to perform photosynthesis. So these roots of trapa, they have chlorophyll. So therefore they are also capable of performing photosynthesis. So these are also roots which are present above the ground. So when you look at these plants, so this is how the plants look like. So for these plants, their roots, they uh, are present above the ground. So you can actually visualize their roots and also they are green in color. 
So the green color is due to the presence of chlorophyll and they perform photosynthesis which is again uh, 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 an additional function. So roots generally do not perform photosynthesis. So these are very few exceptional plants. So that's, that's one specialized function. Now overall when we look at uh, the functions of roots, so primary function definitely is uh, to absorb water and minerals from the soil because plants cannot survive without water, minerals, nutrients and all of these are obtained from the soil. So we water the plant, the soil, water goes into the soil and then it is the job of the root to take that water from the soil and supply it to different parts of the plant. So this is the basic function of the root system but besides this also it provides anchorage to the plant because because of this only the plant uh, you know kind of uh, remains fixed on the ground so it provides that stability to the plant. Uh, it stores food so in as we saw that in certain plants it, it, it is a swollen structure for example radish, carrot and that that's where they store food. They perform photosynthesis as well like uh, in trappa where they have chlorophyll and therefore they can perform photosynthesis. They help in respiration in plants like mangroves. So where they have the specialized structures called pneumatophores and those structures they, they come out from the water surface and they take in oxygen from the atmosphere. So that's how they help in the process of the respiration. So mangrove is the plant where you see these structures called pneumatophores helps plants in climbing so in a lot of plants the roots are also modified to, uh, to climbing structures so that they the plant can climb over a mechanical support like how we have the stem tendrils like how we had the leaf tendrils similarly you also have the climber roots where the roots secrete some sticky substances that attach to a plant and then that's how it can grow over that particular surface provide additional support to trees like banyan which ha which have gone really big so it needs more support so prop roots develop and then they provide additional support to the tree helps in derive nutrition from host in parasitic plants now there are certain plants which receive its nutrition or which receives its food from other plants so in many such plants roots help them to get their food from other plants. So parasitic plants are those plants parasitic. It means they derive their food from other plants. From other plants. So basically they live on other plants. So the other plant is called host. So the plant from which the parasitic plant derives their nutrition and the plant in which they live that is called the host plant. So how do they receive their nutrition? So in many parasitic plants the roots help them to receive the nutrition from the host plant. Thank you. Please visit www.examfeo.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.